With the day of my labor close, I was brimming with excitement, but there were other pressing matters too. Lady Marigold was nearing the end of her time. She wanted to go to the magic realm to master her final school. So I sent her to seek out the Sage of Mischief. At least she would meet her end with dignity and merit. Kazuki Nakagawa was the Sage's name. Marigold described his appearance as clownish at best. With his instruction, the alchemist mastered yet another school of magic. I cannot express enough my pride. Lady Marigold was the first of her kind to reach such heights, mastering three of the four magical branches. As part of this, she was granted the right to a third familiar, to show her new rank among her kind. This was her final orb, an orb of the phoenix, a creature intimately woven with the cycle of life and death. She called him Firefly, a fiery angel from the depths. He was her messenger of death. His time in our company would be brief, I knew, but I was still fascinated, such a mysterious creature. While at the magic realm, Marigold summoned Zora Alcandrica. She would be the next alchemist. And Marigold had some words for her, as well as a gift she might use later on, an ancient wand. The royal alchemist cherished Zora the most, even over her own daughters, a truly dutiful character. Back at the castle, all the ladies agreed Marigold was deserving of a biography in her honor. Oriana would begin the work after the alchemist's passing to avoid a sense of foreboding. After her return from Salvadorada, the scholar produced the first royal Salazar brew. Once the baby was born, I would celebrate the new additions to our treasury with the royal drink. That aside, Oriana was busy in work left over from the expedition. There were quite a few artifacts to uncover still. Of course, she found some time in between to entertain Sol with a game of foosball. How spirited. The influx of ancient artifacts inspired Zelda to pursue the arts. She wanted to experiment with some painting. Marigold was certainly enjoying the last of her days, indulging in sweet-baked goods in the kitchen. With this child on the way, my thoughts turned to my growing power and plans for domination. I'm not sure if Ariana approved of all this talk, but no matter. She will support me, I know. She does not have a choice. Beneath my trust lies my wrath, a hidden spring I have yet to unleash. I've been thinking a lot about my time with Marigold. I've never had a deep connection with her. And yet, I've always viewed her with caution and respect. I suppose there isn't much to regret on my end. It was midnight when the first pangs came. I was rushed to the birth chamber with Marigold at the forefront. At least my loyal alchemist would live to see the birth of this child, I thought. So I prayed for a girl. It was for naught. The goddess had not blessed me. I was met with twin boys. Ronald Salazar and his little brother, Beau.